Hello brothers and sisters, this is the day Yah has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Misusing the word of Yah. Peter spoke about how Paul's epistles would be misused and twisted. Let's see how we were warned in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 16 and verse 17. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which some things are hard to understand, which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. You therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, beware lest you also fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of the wicked. Throughout history, the word of Elohim has been misused to take advantage of the people, from our adversary the devil in the Garden of Eden, to the so-called congregation leaders today who love to use certain verses to benefit and put their own twist on it. Scriptures tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21, Test all things. Hold fast to what is good. That is why it is very important to read our Bibles, question all things, and pray in Yahushua's name for clarification. In Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, Adonai warned us about the last days and false teachers. He stated, he shall speak pompous words against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and shall intend to change times and law. Then the saints shall be given into his hand for a time and times and half a time. In 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1 through verse 4, we are warned about destructive doctrines. But there were false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Adon who brought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many will follow in their destructive ways because of whom the way of the truth will be blasphemed. By covetousness they will expose you with deceptive words. For a long time their judgment has not been idle, and their destruction does not slumber. For Yahuwah did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment. In 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 18 to verse 19, we are warned about the deceptions of false teachers. For when they speak great swelling words of emptiness, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through lewdness, the ones who have actually escaped from those who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are slaves of corruption. For by whom a person is overcome, by him also he is brought into bondage. Let's continue to search all scripture and allow the Ruach HaKodesh to be our guide and help us remove all lies and deception from our lives. Brothers and sisters, let's remember what Yahushua told us. But the hour is coming, and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such a worship. Yah is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Until next time, may Yah bless you.